In this video, we'll show you how quick and easy it is to replace a broken toilet seat lid coming up. So replacing a toilet lid is a pretty straightforward process. Um, it's very common for the toilet lids to break, uh, especially on these back hinges. And a lot of times on some of these toilet lids, like this one, this toilet seat is made out of wood covered in a plastic, and these tend to stain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with a higher quality toilet seat, which is this plastic one from Kohler. Um, this one is entirely plastic. It also has some uh, rubber feet on the front to prevent it from shifting back and forth once it's installed. Uh, you can also remove it easily by just simply lifting the hinges so you can clean underneath it. And as an added benefit, this toilet seat also includes a nightlight. So uh, if you have kids, it's a great feature, or even if you're trying to just not wake up your spouse in the middle of the night when you have to go to the bathroom, uh, the nightlight will have a soft glow in the toilet so you can see where you're going. Um, one more feature of this toilet seat uh, is the fact that it has a soft close model and the soft close model just makes sure that you uh, don't slam the lid whenever you're done using it. So all in all, this is a really great toilet lid. Um, we'll leave a link in the description below where you can go and check this out and pick one up at the best price. And before we get started, one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to make sure whether or not uh, you have a round toilet or if you have an elongated toilet. Um, this box box has a really nice guide on it. It shows you how deep um, your toilet needs to be for a round lid. So like in our case, this is a round model. Um, it shouldn't be any deeper than 16 and 5 eighths of an inch. If it is, you probably have an elongated model. Um, so you need to get an elongated toilet seat. Um, just be sure to check uh, your toilet before you go and purchase one of these because if you take, if you buy the wrong size and you take this out of the box, um, you're probably not gonna be able to return it. So just kinda keep that in mind. Okay, so we'll go ahead and unbox this and show you what's inside. Okay, so this is it. It's sealed in a plastic wrap. Um, go ahead and take the hardware pack off, set it aside. Uh, we'll need to cut this open. And always include instructions inside and you can see on this model here um, it's got some electronics in here for the night light and a night light button on the back so uh, let's go ahead and set this aside now that we've got it open and we'll remove the old toilet seat all right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove this. It's, uh, it might be a good idea for you to have some disposable gloves because it is a toilet. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. The other thing you probably should have handy is some disinfecting wipes as well. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna kind of clean this down as best as we can before we uh, detach the toilet seat and then uh, we'll get started. And you can hear how loud this is. So we'll replace that make it quieter. All right, so now we're gonna come in a little bit closer and show you exactly what work we're gonna be doing here to get this removed. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to pop this plastic cover off here. Sometimes it hinges one way or the other. This one folds to the back, it looks like. I wanna do that for both hinges. Okay. Then we need to take a screwdriver and we need to unscrew these. Some of the times these bolts are plastic, like in this case, so you wanna be sure not to, to strip either where you put the screwdriver in or um, the threads, especially when you're installing a toilet seat. If uh, the uh, bolt is plastic, you wanna be very careful not to over tighten it. Also, sometimes um, there's going to be a uh, bolt at the bottom underneath that might spin and if it does you'll have to reach underneath and kind of hold it still with your other hand while you're unscrewing it from the top. Okay, so you can see the nut here and the bolt. Pull that out. So this just kind of attaches here at least on this model. We don't need this anymore because we're getting rid of the seat. And we'll do the same for this one. Now, 
Probably won't show this on camera because I can tell that there's a lot of stuff underneath the hinges. That's nasty. So it's another reason why when you pick up a new toilet uh, seat, it's a really good idea to have one that's detachable so you can clean underneath it really well because um, it tends to build up stuff over time. So I'm gonna take this off here and then I'm gonna clean it up again and get a nice surface and ready for the new installation. Now that this is cleaned up, we're gonna take the hardware pack and open it up. Depending on what seat you end up purchasing, um, this is gonna be a little bit different potentially. But on this one, it has these little rubber feet that we need to install first. Like that. So we need to pop these in here. And these rubber feet will prevent it from the, the seat from shifting back and forth once it's in place. Okay, next step is we need to remove these insets and the covers. So let's pull this out here. There's one. Pull the other one out here. Okay, and then we'll flip this upside down and we'll pull out this light pack. All right, so now we need to install the batteries. In this, we need four AA batteries. And you wanna be careful not to do that. It could have been worse, I could have dropped this whole thing in. Um, so yeah, don't do it over the toilet. Lesson learned. Again, at least it was a clean toilet, so that's a plus. Okay, so now we'll put this back inside here. Next, we need to put this on here. To position the holes over the holes, and then on this model, you need to put these back in place and the plus needs to be facing towards the toilet. So I'm gonna stick these in here that all lined up, ready to go. And then we're gonna put that over these holes. Okay, now we're gonna take the hardware pack again, and we're gonna get the bolts out, as well as the these um, wing nuts, okay? So we're gonna feed the bolts through the back here into the holes. Then we're gonna take the wing nut, and let me show you what this looks like here. Underneath, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna basically just screw this on underneath until it gets nice and tight, okay? So it's gonna be like this, and you'll screw this in this way, so it'll look like that. And uh, you wanna make sure this flange piece is facing up, that way it tightens down the uh, toilet bowl. Just wanna finger tighten it first before I get out the screwdriver. From up top, we want to make sure before we get it all the way tightened that the uh, toilet lid is lined up properly. And we also want to make sure we're not going to over tighten this because we don't want to strip the threads. Okay, so that's snug. Do the same for this one. And I'm holding the bolt of the, the nut underneath to make sure it doesn't spin. It's got a couple of wings on it that uh, prevent it from spinning a lot, but I'm holding it in place just in case. All right, so now this is all nice and lined up, I think. Let's make sure here. Just making sure there's not a lot of, of a gap on one side or the other. I'm making sure it doesn't look crooked and that it's not hanging off the front, okay? So that looks good. Looks pretty good. And then I'll just go ahead and tighten this down. And again, you don't want to get it too tight. Just tighten it enough to where it's not gonna loosen up. Okay. All right, and then that's installed. Now, the nice thing about this is when you need to clean it, when you need to clean the bathroom, all I have to do is 
flip these up and then pull this lid forward, it comes right off. You can clean underneath it and then when you're done, you can just push it forward, snap it back on and push those caps back down and you're done. The other thing you can do, um, since this is battery operated, we have to change the batteries out. You'll pull it off that way as well. So that way you can replace the batteries inside and stick it back on. Okay. I can also show you the feature here of the soft close lid. So open that closes slowly and softly I'll force it down. And then the top cover does the same thing. So it won't wake anybody up in the middle of the night, which is great. All right. Now let's take a look at this light here. The light's going to be really dim. Um, because we have other lights on. Uh, the point is to just light up the toilet enough to where you can see when the lights are off. So um, I'm gonna hit the button once and that'll be the brightest setting. If you wanna take a look here, you'll see how bright this is behind it. Let me show you what this looks like here. You should be able to see a little faint blue glow right there. And if I hit the button again, it should dim it down just a little bit. So we're going to leave it on the brightest setting. Okay. Now we're going to try and turn off the lights too and show you what this looks like. Get this lighting off. And uh, you can probably see this glow here. And actually on the camera now it looks brighter than it does uh, in the room. And again, this is on the brightest setting. So now I'm going to open up the toilet lid and you can see the toilet glowing blue. So it's pretty cool. Pretty nifty feature. You don't have to turn the lights on in the middle of the night to see what you're doing. So, all right, close this down. So I'm not exactly sure how long the light is gonna last or how long the batteries are gonna last. Um, before we post the video, we'll uh, let this go for maybe a week or two and just see uh, how this goes. The other thing is, I'm not sure if the light turns off at all. Um, and then uh, if it did, that would be kind of an issue because you'd have to come in here and then hit the button in order for the light to turn on, which you wouldn't be able to see the button because it's dark. So I have a feeling it's gonna stay on all the time. Um, so anyway, we'll leave it uh, go for probably a week or two before we finish up this video, just to see um, and make sure the batteries don't run out right away. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, let us know that you liked it. Also leave us any comments or if you have any questions about the process. And uh, again, we'll have a link in the description below where you can go and check out uh, this toilet seat at the best price. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. And remember, a top homeowner, our goal is to help you become the best homeowner that you can be. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. What? what? A new toilet seat and handle. Cool. Is it cool? Yep. Why is it glow? Why does it glow? Open it. Blue. Turn the light off. What? Um, where's the wet thing? Oh. So it's a night light, that's right. Yep, so you don't have to turn the light on in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. That was so nice. Oh. <laughs> you might not want to touch it though. We're getting in the habit of touching it. It might be a little dirty. That's true. Awesome. You like it? <laughs> and now we won't wake it up. And it closes slowly too. Yeah, that's why I said it won't wake us up. Won't wake up. You like it? Huh? Awesome. I like it. Whoa!